This feature is not just about aesthetics, it's about comfort. Imagine your terminal always matching your max light or dark mode, creating a seamless and visually pleasing experience. This is not only enhances the visual appeal, but also reduces eye strain, making your terminal usage more comfortable. Let's dig into it. You can notice on the screen that the Mac OS light mode is enabled now. See the background colors of the settings panel and the term I turned window. I'm now going to switch to dark mode. You can see that everything has changed to dark, including the window border of iTerm2, but not the terminal itself. That's the problem we're going to solve today. Okay, let's discover this game changer feature. We're going to do this in the default profile. Go into the configuration of the iTerm, click profiles and select the profile that you want to modify. Then go to the colors tab. We're going to see a new checkbox in there that says use different colors for light mode and dark mode. This is new um, newly added to the version 3.5. Once we enable that, we must select the color preset we want for light, light and dark mode. So for dark mode, I'm going to select uh, the North theme. Item is asking me uh, if I want to use the same for both. We don't want that. We want separate for light and dark. And for light, I'm going to select not light and same. After that, we're going to test if everything works. Let's go back to the light profile. And there we go. We can see that the iTerm is respecting um, the mode that we have in our Mac automatically.